Even before COVID-19, farmers are already struggling due to low coffee prices, global and environmental challenges and threats. In light of the cumulative effects of the coffee price drop and the COVID-19 pandemic, not only is there a serious threat to the livelihoods of coffee farmers today, but also a dramatic risk to the future of the crop. It is on this background that the CEO of Inspire Africa, Nelson Tugume, is calling for the boosting of local consumption of coffee. We export our jobs, export the value, get the farmer to remain there because they do not understand the coffee. They are growing. The farmer understanding coffee from the cup, then this is a gold crop. Over 125 million people around the world are involved in the upstream coffee industry, yet coffee prices are susceptible to high degrees of fluctuation, leaving a tremendous number of those people vulnerable. The whole idea is diversity for job creation and increased income to the farmer. Diversification can give farmers a steadier income, as well as helping to make the coffee industry more stable. To bring this to context, Joseph Molindwa, a food scientist from the National Crops Resource Research Institute, explains the innovations from the coffee wastes. What Nakori has done, we have gone looking to look into other health benefits besides taking coffee as a beverage. Uh, through the research, we have developed the prototypes. Uh, to come up with innovations like the coffee lotion. Mm. About innovation, has the government supported the strides the National Crops Resources Research Institute is undertaking? If yes, how do we benefit as a nation? Government has helped us to procure uh, HPRC. Of course, it is going to be very useful in helping us uh, bring to speed our research. We are going to be doing such chemical analysis, which has originally been done from outside the countries. An increased number of young people in coffee farming households are moving away from the coffee business to other jobs as they see as more progressive and lucrative for their future. How best can government then change attitudes towards coffee? We must improve on our marketing strategy mm. from the policy angle, from the government angle. Mm. I would like to see the president, mm. every time he is traveling, mm. he has 50 kilos of Ugandan coffee. Yeah. We cannot move forward yeah. if we are not implementing what we've called bubu what we've called private sector-led economy. All of this leads to a healthier ecosystem, meaning that diversification isn't just a backup for coffee. It also helps the coffee industry to thrive. Andrew Chamagero, NTV News.